Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to clip a model out of one scene and drop them into another scene, but we're also going to bring along the model's shadow. Now I'm doing this video by request. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos and I welcome people's requests. So if you have an idea of a video you'd like to see me do, Email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com and I'll see if I could do it. All right, the first thing we need to do is get a selection of our model. To do that, we're going to get any one of three selection tools. Just hit the W key on your keyboard and you'll notice when you do that, you'll get one of these three tools, either Object Selection, Quick Selection, or Magic Wand. It doesn't matter which one you get because when you have any one of those three tools active, at the top will be a button, Select Subject. Click on that and you'll get a selection of your subject. Now examine the selection, see how it did. It looks like it did okay, but it's missing her shoulder and part of the map. So I need to add to the selection. And I'm going to use the Quick Selection tool for that. That's the one I happen to have active. And by default, when you choose the Quick Selection tool, it will be in Add Mode. So what we'll do now is we'll just click and we'll add the map and shoulder to our selection, just like that. All right, now we have a selection, but is it a really good selection? Well, we need to check. We need to select it and mask it. And to do that, go up here and click the button, select and mask. Now we could see the model and there's just a black background. Now you could change that background with the view. Go over here. I usually like either overlay or on black. And if I'm on black, by default, it will have opacity at 50%. I always put that up to 100%. I just like the contrast. I could see better. Now you can see her hair looks a little funky and there's a little bit maybe missing in her hand down here. So what we want to do is get the refine edge brush. The keyboard shortcut is R. It's right here. It's this second tool from the top. And to change the size of the brush, you could use the bracket keys. The right bracket key makes it larger, left bracket key smaller. Also, make sure you're using the brush in plus mode. And hardness, somewhere towards the bottom, I have it at 20%, and that looks pretty good. Then what we want to do is first I'll take care of this little area down here by your hand. Just get a smaller brush and click up in there. Now I'll get a larger brush, and her hair is kind of funky up in here. So we're going to do her hair around the edges. Now you don't have to worry about making sure you get every strand of hair or anything like that. You just want to make sure that you have a pretty good selection of her hair. It still looks a little funky. There is a button up here, Refine Hair, but in my experience, it doesn't work very good. It sometimes works a little bit, and sometimes it messes up your image too. I'm going to click on it, and it changed a little bit, but it didn't really do much. I'm going to undo it by hitting Command Z on my Mac. That undoes your last step. Control Z on the PC. All right. What I found works better to make the hair look better is down here, this little checkbox, decontaminate colors. And when you click on that, you can see it got rid of all that kind of white haloing that was going around her hair. Looks much better. Uh, when you use that, it rec it's recommended that you output it to a new layer with layer mask. That's what we're going to do and click OK. All right, there we are. We clipped her out, but we have to work on the shadow next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this layer, the layer of our model, and change the name of it to model. And then what we're going to do is go on that background layer. It's currently turned off, but that's OK. We'll hit Command J on that to duplicate it. It's Control J on a PC, and I'll turn that on. We'll turn off the top layer. Now this middle layer is going to be the layer for the shadow. So I'm going to rename that shadow. Now I need to get my selection back. I, now I don't have to do everything I just did all over again. To get my selection back, all I need to do is hold in the Command or Control key and click on the layer mask that I created. And we have our selection back. So we have our selection. All the layers are turned off except our shadow layer. And I'm on the shadow layer. Now, I just need to get rid of the model. So I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. All right, I just got rid of the model. Now we need to work on the background. We need a selection of the background, and all I need to do that 
is to invert this selection. So I'm going to hit Shift Command I on my Mac. Hit Shift Control I on a PC. Now it may not look like it did anything, but if you look carefully, you'll see that the marching ants are now going around the outside of the frame and the outside of where the model was. So we did um, get a selection of that background. What I want to do next is get rid of the color. You could hit Command or Control U on your keyboard to get the specific tool we need, which is under Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, right there. Once you do that, just take the saturation all the way down. So we have the color taken away from the background. Click OK. Now, we need a better selection. We need to select all of the background except the part where the shadow is. All right, to do that, now what we're going to do is go up to Select and then down to Color Range. And when you do that, you'll be defaulted to an eyedropper. The screen may be all black on yours or maybe tried to get a selection. It may look funny. What you want to do is click on the areas you want to remove. So don't click on the shadow area. Click up here, like over um, her left shoulder. So you can see, all right, now we have a selection. Wherever is white, that's what's selected. So that's not bad. Let's add to the selection. You can see some of this gray down here. I don't want that there. To add to the selection, hold the shift key in. When you do that, you'll see the little eyedropper will get a plus sign next to it. Then you could click down there. Oh, we're refining it a little better. Um, I don't know. That looks actually pretty good. We might want to try over here. Hold the shift key in and click there. And maybe that is good. Maybe that's bad. It's hard to say. I'm going to undo it. I think we'll leave it like that. That looks pretty good. So we have this selection now, and we're going to click OK. Now you can see we have this selection. We need to delete it, so just hit the delete key. All right, now I'll get rid of those marching ants. Hit Command or Control D to deselect. All right, we really just have the shadow, but we do have some kind of weird outline around our hair. Just get the eraser. Hit the E key on your keyboard for the eraser tool. It's right here. And then just come in and carefully just erase this part over here a little bit. All right. So that's it. Just like that. All right. So that's our shadow. Now I'm going to turn back on the top layer. And you can see there's the model. The shadow looks a little funky, but don't worry about it. Now I'm ready to move the model and her shadow over to that other image. To do that, click on one. I'll click on the top layer. Hold the Command or Control key on in and click on that other layer, the layer of the shadow, so they're both selected. Then just click and drag them up to that tab and then drop them in it. Okay, now we need to resize it. We're going to hit Command or Control minus a few times to make this smaller. Hit Command or Control T to get our free transform handles so I could resize the image like that. That looks pretty good. And let's just put it right there, right smack dab in the middle. Hit the little check mark to commit to that transformation. Fit this to screen. Hit Command or Control 0. Not 9, 0. There we go. And now we have it. It looks ridiculous, right? Well, now we're going to go to the shadow all by itself. Make sure you're on that. We're going to change that blend mode. You're going to change it either to overlay or soft light. Overlay, it looks okay. But it's, you see it's got like a white halo over here, so we don't want that. We'll go to soft light. Soft light looks better. You can barely see it, though, you're thinking, right? That's okay. Don't worry. What we're going to do now is we're going to darken this. To darken this, we're going to go up to Image, Adjustments, Exposure. And we'll take Exposure down. And look at that. See? Take it. As dark as you want. As dark as you need it. Something like that, I think, looks pretty good. And let's just zoom out just a touch, hit Command Minus. So there we are. We not only clipped out the model, but we took her shadow with her and brought her over to this image and dropped her into this scene. And again, this was by request. And again, I welcome all requests. So email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com. I can't guarantee that I'll do it because maybe I can't do it. I might not know how, but if I do know how to do it, I will do a video on it most likely. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>